I guess you came here for this. Ooh, ooh. So, iPad Pro, 11 inch, Wi-Fi cellular, 256 gig. I never thought I would spend this kind of money on an iPad, if I'm being honest, but I, I've never really been a big tablet guy. Currently, I'm running on a old Lenovo Yoga Tab 2 here. So you've got the little thing, you can print it up, you can use it as a stand which is really nifty something that uh, this doesn't have and it's got two good speakers on the bottom let's see how this compares let's, let's get unboxing so first to ooh, I was just wondering like how can that possibly like this is all one piece of plastic and I thought there's no little pull tab that goes around here. But look at that, it does it anyway. Look at that. I don't know why, but for some reason, <laughs> the statement, small things amuse small minds just came to mind. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's get to unboxing this. So it looks like this is meant to just you ready? You ready? I recently saw a tweet on Twitter. We should put less emphasis on unwrapping the plastic of Apple products when we unbox them. So, um... Silver iPad Pro, everybody. Silver iPad Pro. With, with no emphasis on that. None. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at that. The, the Apple logo's already been fingerprinted. Yeah, that's, that's better. That's better. Cool beans, cool beans, let's call. Cool. Uh, which way is what? Pretty light, feels good in your hand. I like the hard corners, like the actual edges, 90 degree corners, which I hear in the new iPhones coming out later this year. We're going to get that, uh, which of course, I will be upgrading to the day it comes out just like I did with this one. I must sound like an absolute Apple fanboy right now. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not. I mean, Androids, Androids, Nokia's. Not a fanboy of Apple. <laughs> nah, maybe, a, maybe a little. Right, I'm assuming just a bunch of manuals, bunch of manuals. Hello. How we use your swipe, it's, yep, that's the same as my phone. I don't need to know that. We have a little SIM tool and some app stickers. We've got a uh, power brick here, which is USB-C with 
an output of three amp. Apparently. If only iPhones had USB-C and this power brick. Hmm? That's just for fun. Let's. Hmm? Yep. Here's a USB-C cable. USB-C, not lightning. Yes, yes, yes. Um, hoping this, the phones do this soon too. USB-C is the future, baby. Uh, and that's about it. That's about it. You know, I, I got to see. Got to say, the design of this is pretty good. The one thing I probably don't like about it, though, is how much the the camera comes out a little bit there. I mean, when you go to put it down on the table like that, it feels like, oh, did I just scratch the lens? And I'm not the person that likes screen protectors and things like that, so I don't know. In saying that, I did buy this case for it, uh, mainly not for a case, uh, more to be able to hold a Apple Pencil there and to use it on, like that to actually make a stand out of it. And, you know, it's going to be easier like when watching Netflix and stuff to just have it stand up. So let's, let's turn this on, see if it's got battery and knowing Apple it should have some battery. Ooh, here we go. Actually I should have put my SIM card in this, shouldn't I? Hola! 80% battery, that's pretty good. Bon dia. I don't know what that says, but I assume it's hello. Hello again in a different language. And uh, wait, what? Hello, English, finally. Let's do English, set that up. Australia, that would be a good start. Okay, so this is just uh, overloaded with updating stuff at the moment. So, I'm going to let it do its thing and get back to you. Okay, so this took a little bit longer than I expected. It's the next day now and I've now put this in the uh, case here. It's got a little magnet. Which case is this? The, the smarter case. I don't know what makes it smart. And let's go through a bit of the first impressions now. Now, liking the big screen, put it this way, liking the, the round corners we have, just makes it a little bit more premium, you know? The screen will rotate in any direction. Also, Face ID will work in any direction. But look, unlocked. It's upside down right now, but it's unlocked. You can't do that with the iPhone, I think. Where is my iPhone? So I think I've had issues with this. Yeah, look, not unlocking when I put it sideways. But then boom, unlocked when I turn it up like that. So it's really cool that this has this feature. Really weird that the iPhone doesn't have that feature. I mean, if you can do it on this, why not on the iPhone? Obviously this probably needs it more because the way this is and looks, you really can't tell which way is the top and the bottom and which side. So, I mean, definitely needs that feature. Performance here is really snappy. It's bright. I've been watching some YouTube videos on it. YouTube videos are good. Well. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some photos from the iPhone and from the mirrorless camera, putting them side by side with just A and B camera. And you have to decide which one you think is the mirrorless camera and which one is the iPhone photo. Do you think you can get it right? Well, let's see. Sound is good. Better than good. Better than good. So you've got the tweeter and the bass on the bottom and tweeter and bass on the top as well. Um, 
I really like the 11 inch size. I haven't really gotten into the nitty gritty of this device yet. Uh, but I just wanted to give you my first impressions. From last night to today, I've been running this as a hotspot and I've been running my, that was a bit loud. Uh, I've been running my entire house off the iPad, like my projector, like the computers, like my phone, everything's hotspotted to the iPad. And downloads are actually pretty good. So yeah, I think that's, that's about it for this video. So hit that like button if you liked it, subscribe for more videos, and there will be more videos particularly on this actually, and I will see you in the next video.